Hi guys, welcome to Satya News. Now we are here with the topic nutrition in human beings. So which type of nutrition in human beings takes place? It's heterotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition. Okay, now let us go with the digestive system. The digestive system is divided into two parts. The alimentary canal. and the accessory glands. So the parts of elementary canal are the buccal cavity, the esophagus, stomach and the intestines. Mm. And the accessory glands are salivary glands, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Now, let us learn about the buccal cavity first. Now, buccal cavity. The digestion, the digestion starts in the mouth of the human beings. So in mouth, uh, the salivary amylase digests the food, digests the carbohydrates. So the salivary amylase is produced by salivary glands. And there are three pairs of salivary glands. Palotid gland, submandibular gland, and sublingual gland. And parotid gland, this is the largest gland. And it is present here at the cheeks. And the submandibular gland, it is present here near the throat. And the sublingual gland, it is present here, near the chin. Now let us know about the tongue. This lingual tonsil with this V-shaped cut divides the tongue into two unequal parts. Now let us know about the papilla on the tongue. This is the circumvallate papillae. This is only present near the V-shaped cut of the lingual tonsil. And this fungiform papillae, this is present only at the anterior part. It is present all over the place but present mostly at the anterior part and this filiform apparatus it is present only at the place where the taste buds are not present. And now let us know about the taste buds. At this place we'll know about we'll know the sour taste and here the mixture of salt and sour. Here about the salt, here sweet and salt and here only sweet. Now let us know about the structure of the tooth. The outer one which we can see here is the enamel. This is the strongest part. Even it is stronger than our bones. And then the part below the enamel is known as dentine. And th this dentine covers the complete pulp cavity. In the pulp cavity, the nerves and blood vessels are present. And the gums, the part outer the, which we can see out from the gums is called as crown. And the inner part is called as neck. Now let us know about the human dentition. Our human dentition is called monophyodont, diphyodont, heterodont and thicodont. Now let us know about the monophyodont. The monophyodont means the teeth which appear in our life only once. And these are our premolars and the last molars, last pair of molars and the feodont, the teeth which appear twice in our life. These are incisors, canines, and the first two pairs of last molar, first two pairs of molars.
and it is called heterodont because these are different types of teeth because we have different types of shapes of teeth we have incisors canines premolars and molars that's why they are called heterodont because of the different shapes and it is called thicodont because our teeth are uh, kept in a socket bony socket that's why our teeth has these many names monophyodont diphyodont heterodont and thicodont now let us see the dental formula first let's see in chain a child below 17 years has 2 by 2 incisors 1 by 1 canines 0 by 0 premolars and 2 by 2 molars and uh, in people of 17 years of age 2 by 2 incisors 1 by 1 canines 2 by 2 premolars and 2 by 2 molars and in old people adults 2 by 2 incisors 1 by 1 canines 2 by 2 premolars and 3 by 3 molars and here if we will calculate this dental formula here we will get 5 by 5 completely 2 1 2 completely 5 5 by 5 into 2 is equals to 10 by 10 so uh, the people younger than 17 years will have 20 teeth and people at the age of 17 years will have 7 by 7 into 2 is equals 14 by 14 that is equals to 28 28 teeth they will have and in adults 8 by 8 into 2 is equals to 16 by 16 that is equals to 32 adults will have 32 teeth in all now let us know about the buccophyngeal cavity this is divided into three parts the nasopharynx oropharynx and hypopharynx this nasopharynx it is present uh, near the nose so it transports our air transports air we breathe from our nose to the lungs and this oropharynx which uh, transports our food from mouth to the stomach this hypopharynx this is the last part and it is present below the oropharynx and it is the main important part of the pharynx and uh, the esophagus from buccal cavity uh, through the pharynx it goes into the esophagus and there is a part called epiglottis it is a thin membranous flap thin membranous flap which covers the trachea from entering the food into the windpipe from there the food goes into the esophagus and then into the stomach so that's it for today tomorrow we'll learn about the stomach comments or uh, suggestions please drop them in the comment box thank you